Welcome back to our series on the nervous system. Today, we are going to talk about neurons and glial cells. To enhance your learning experience, we have provided a free PDF illustration to go along with our discussion. You will find the link in the description box. Consider these illustrations as an investment in your future education. They aren't only for today's discussion, but also when you need to review and refer to the details on the topic. They are your go-to source. We also invite you to actively participate in our videos by showing your support with likes, shares, and channel subscriptions. Your participation strengthens our channel and guarantees that you stay up to date on new releases. I am the Artful Medic, and without further ado, let's get down to business. Structure of neuron. Neuron is made up of three parts. One, nerve cell body. Two, dendrite. Three, axon. Nerve cell body. Nerve cell body is also known as soma or perikaryon. It is irregular in shape. Like any other cell, it is constituted by a mass of cytoplasm called neuroplasm, which is covered by a cell membrane. The cytoplasm contains a large nucleus, nissel bodies, neurofibrils, mitochondria, Golgi apparatus. Nissel bodies and neurofibrils are found only in nerve cell and not in other other cells. 1. Nucleus Each neuron has one nucleus, which is centrally placed in the nerve cell body. Nucleus has one or two prominent nucleoli. Nucleus does not contain centrosome, so the nerve cell cannot multiply like other cells. Nissel bodies or nissel granules are small basophilic granules found in cytoplasm of neurons and are named after the discoverer. These bodies are present in soma and dendrite, but not in axon and axon hillock. Nissel bodies are called tigroid substances, since these bodies are responsible for tigroid or spotted appearance of soma after suitable staining. Dendrites are distinguished from axons by the presence of nissel granules under microscope. Nissel bodies are membranous organelles containing ribosomes. So, these bodies are concerned with synthesis of proteins in the neurons. Proteins formed in soma are transported to the axon by axonal flow. Number of nissel bodies varies with the condition of the nerve. During fatigue or injury of the neuron, these bodies fragment and disappear by a process called chromatolysis. Granules reappear after recovery from fatigue or after regeneration of nerve fibers. 3. Neurofibrils Neurofibrils are thread-like structures present in the form of network in the soma and the nerve processes. Presence of neurofibrils is another characteristic feature of the neurons. The neurofibrils consist of microfilaments and microtubules. 4. Mitochondria Mitochondria are present in soma and in axon. As in other cells, here also mitochondria form the powerhouse of the nerve cell, where ATP is produced. Fiv, Golgi apparatus. Golgi apparatus of nerve cell body is similar to that of other cells. It is concerned with processing and packing of proteins into granules. Dendrite. Dendrite is the branched process of neuron and it is branched repeatedly. Dendrite may be present or absent. If present, it may be one or many in number. Dendrite has nissel granules and neurofibrils. Dendrite transmits impulses towards the nerve cell body. Usually the dendrite is shorter than axon. Axon. Axon is the longer process of nerve cell. Each neuron has only one axon. Axon arises from axon hillock of the nerve cell body and it is devoid of nissel granules. Axon extends for a long distance away from the nerve cell body. Length of longest axon is about one meter. 
axon transmits impulses away from the nerve cell body. Myelin shat. Myelin shath is a thick lipoprotein shath that insulates the myelinated nerve fibers. Myelin shath is not a continuous shath. It is absent at regular intervals. The area where myelin shath is absent is called node of Ranvier. Segment of the nerve fibers between two nodes is called internode. Myelin sheath is responsible for white color of nerve fibers. Chemistry of myelin sheath. Myelin sheath is formed by concentric layers of proteins alternating with lipids. The lipids are cholesterol, lecithin and cerebroside, sphingomyelin. Functions of myelin sheath. 1. Faster conduction. Myelin sheath is responsible for faster conduction of impulse through the nerve fibers. In myelinated nerve fibers, the impulses jump from one node to another node. This type of transmission of impulses is called saltatory conduction. 2. Insulating capacity. Myelin sheath has a high insulating capacity. Because of this quality, Myelin sheath restricts the nerve impulse within single nerve fibers and prevents the stimulation of neighboring nerve fibers. Classification of neuron. Neurons are classified by three different methods. One, depending upon the number of poles. Two, depending upon the function, three, depending upon the length of axon, depending upon the number of poles. Based on the number of poles from which the nerve fibers arise, neurons are divided into three types. One, unipolar neurons, Unipolar neurons are the neurons that have only one pole. From a single pole, both axon and dendrite arise. This type of nerve cells is present only in embryonic stage in human beings. 2. Bipolar neurons. Neurons with two poles are known as bipolar neurons. Axon arises from one pole and dendrites arise from the other pole. Three, multipolar neurons. Multipolar neurons are the neurons which have many poles. One of the poles gives rise to axon and all, and all other poles give rise to dendrites. Depending upon the function. On the basis of function, Nerve cells are classified into two types. 1. Motor or efferent neurons. Motor or efferent neurons are the neurons which carry the motor impulses from central nervous system to peripheral effector organs like muscles, glands, blood vessels, etc. Generally, each motor neuron has a long axon and short dendrites. 2. Sensory or afferent neurons. Sensory or afferent neurons are the neurons which carry the sensory impulses from periphery to central nervous system. Generally, each sensory neuron has a short axon and long dendrites. Depending upon the length of axon, depending upon the length of axon, neurons are divided into two types. 1. Golgi type I neurons. Golgi type I neurons have long axons. Cell body of these neurons is in different parts of central nervous system and their axons reach the remote peripheral organs. 2. Golgi type T guy neurons. Neurons of this type have short axons. These neurons are present in cerebral cortex and spinal cord. Glial cells. Glial cells provide the supportive cellular structure and function for neurons. Glial cells include astrocytes, microglia, and oligodendroglia. Astrocytes.
astrocytes are the most abundant glial cells in the CNS. They arise from neuroectoderm and are intimately associated with neural processes, synapses, vasculature, and the peel glial membrane investing the CNS. Astrocytes in gray matter are called protoplasmic astrocytes, and in white matter they are called fibrous astrocytes. Structurally, astrocytic processes interdigitate, forming a syncytium to protect synapse. Physiologically, astrocytic processes affect 1. Ion balance 2. Transport water via aquaporin 4. Channels 3. Uptake and recycle glutamate and GABA 4. Provide metabolic support to neurons and can become reactive after CNS injury and lay down glial scar tissue 5. Astrocytes also release growth factors and bioactive molecules termed gliotransmitters such as glutamate ATP and adenosine. 6. Specialized astrocytes, called radial glia, provide a scaffold for orderly neural migrations in the CNS. Microglial Microglial cells are mesenchymal cells derived from yolk sac that come to reside in the CNS. They are a unique resident population with the capacity for self-renewal. Microglia, 1. Can carry out phagocytosis of debris and apoptotic cells, 2. Remodel and remove synapses in developing an adult CNS, 3. Respond to injury or pathogens. Microglia have receptors for multiple types of stimuli, such as 1. ATP, indicator of local damage, 2. Toll-like receptors, TLRs, that respond to molecules released from dying cells, 3. DAMPs, damage-associated molecular patterns, or pathogens, PAMPs, pathogen-associated molecular patterns, such as LPS on gram-negative bacteria or double-stranded RNA in viruses. Oligodendrocyte. Oligodendrocytes are neuroectodermally derived glial cells that have the major role of myelinating central axons. The trigger for myelination may include associated axonal size and signal molecules, such as ATP, K, glutamate, GABA and some cell adhesion molecules. Each oligodendrocyte can myelinate individual intermodal segments of an average of 30 separate axons, as high as 60 axons. Adjacent internodal segments are myelinated by different oligodendrocytes. This pattern of central myelination leaves periodic nodes of Ranvia bar with sodium channels at which actium potentials, APES, are reinitiated as they travel down the myelinated axon and its branches, called saltatory conduction. Oligodendrocytes can be attacked by antibodies directed at specific oligodendrocyte proteins in multiple sclerosis, leading to oligodendrocyte death and axonal dysfunction. Oligodendrocyte precursor cells can replicate following such insults and remyelinate the denuded central axon segments. Oligodendrocyte membranes possess monocarboxylate transporter 1, MCT1, which can deliver lactate, pyruvate, and ketone bodies to the axon. Oligodendrocyte precursor cells, OPCs, are present in the adult CNS and have NG2 and PDGFA receptors. Thank you for joining me today. Your engagement and curiosity drive the heart of our community. As we wrap up this video, I extend my heartfelt gratitude for your time and support. The journey doesn't end here. Stay tuned for our next deep dive into synapses and receptors.
hit subscribe and ring the notification bell to catch it firsthand. Your comments and suggestions shape the future of our content, so keep the conversation alive below. Together, let's continue our quest for knowledge and better health. I am the Artful Medic, and until next time, take care, stay inspired, and keep making a positive impact.